We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, everyone. I'm heading to a spot. I just got to come down this little trail here, and then there's another road down that way. I'm going to head up that way to a little spot I found a few years ago. Now, it just looked like stuff from maybe the 40s or 50s. I didn't really scratch around a whole lot in it. It just seemed like a small patch. But I'm going to go back tonight. I got a little bit of time. Wow, is that ever cleared out over there? I didn't realize that. But I think the pack is just right down here somewhere. So I'm going to do a little quick dig and see if anything turns up. Hang tight. A few moments later. Okay, folks, I am on site right here at the spot now. I'm just doing a quick look here. Like I said, a lot of the stuff looks like the 50s, but... That's a big jug there. But there's some other stuff in here too. Looks like a little bit older. Check out that. There's a Kepler chemical jar there. That's kind of nice. I can see it's way up into there. This might be a decent little dump right here. Oh, off a wagon. Lots of stuff down through here. Yeah, all right. See, now there's some houses down along that way, more modern ones. Well, they're not from here. This dump isn't from those houses, I mean. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff all down through here. I never noticed before. They've cleared this all out since the last time I've been here. Right on. I'm going to do a little scratch around. I'll see if anything comes out. Well, so far, not much. I got this mason lid, which tells me that there might be masons in here. This little shaker here. Now this piece right here, that looks like it's an older piece. Nice aqua blue color. Alright. Let's keep going. Okay, I had to make a makeshift tripod here, folks. I'm going to pull this up and see if anything's under it. See, I dropped you. Let me get you flipped around here. That's what was under it. Lots of these green liquor bottles. I pulled a few of these out of here. They're a Burnett liquor bottle. Yeah, just mainly looks like just stuff from the 50s, I would say. However, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some older stuff in here. Like I say, what's this here? Well, that's... Would be nice if it was embossed, but it isn't. Big ol' amber liquor bottle. Yeah, well, the place is loaded with liquor bottles. Let's keep digging. So this just come out. Part of a license plate. And I'm going to have to guess that that's 1953. That almost looks like some sort of totem or something on there. There's a number down there. Huh. That's a neat piece. Okay, folks. So, I'm glad I brought this piece home with me. It turns out to be a very unique piece. I'm outside in the dark here right now with the light on. This piece is from a license plate from British Columbia, which is 4,400 kilometers away from me. It's on the completely opposite side of the country. Very cool indeed. It's a long ways from home. Now this piece is interesting because they started putting this uh, totem Thunderbird on them in 1952, okay? And then in 1953, when you renewed your plate, this is all they gave you. Just the small piece. And you'd put it over the end of the 1952 plate and attach it there. So it covered the 52 year up. 
And then in 54, they had a black plate with a yellow band around it. And you would put that over the end to cover the 52 up. So that was for uh, that year. And that only went on for those two years, 53 and 54 or so. This is a very uh, unique piece. I'm glad I found it. Glad I saved it. Right down in the corner here is the serial number for the piece. How cool is that? Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to getting back in there. And one more thing, folks. Thumbs up, comment down below. That's not what I want to say. One more thing. If anybody knows what that great big heavy metal ball was with the eye on it and the uh, big metal rod on it, please put that in the comments as well. Nice piece. Nice save. As you can tell, the sun is going down. Check it out. I got a side iron here. It has got some uh, lettering around it there, but I'm not quite sure what it says. Can't quite make it out. I'll keep scratching around. Well, I'm losing daylight quickly here, folks, and uh, I got a good feeling about this little patch here. Nothing stellar has come out yet, but what's this thing here? Oh, look at that. The heck is that? Any ideas? I'll set that over there. This weird model come out too. I never dug one of those before. It's almost like a 1930s Art Deco style bottle, but it probably isn't from the 30s. 40s maybe. Whatever's in it sure does stink, too. So like I say, this might just be a preliminary dig. I'm going to have to come back here again for sure. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this spot. Hmm. All right, well, hang tight. Okay, folks, so as you can see, I have decided to uh, hit the trails here and uh, head out here. So this is just going to be a short sort of preliminary dig video and I'll get back here in the near future and do a little bit longer video see if anything turns up thanks for watching we'll burn it My beard got miserable. <clears throat> okay, look at this, folks. It's the Captain Morgan. I remember when the Captain was a wee boy. I used to bounce him on me knee. <laughs> look at him now. He's really made something of himself, don't you think? I'm so proud of the Captain.